Hello and welcome to Bite My Pie. First we got the humble web browser, then along came mobile apps. But what if there was a way to combine these two technologies? Welcome then to progressive web apps, or PWAs to their friends. In this video we'll take a look at what they are and how to set them up, both on the traditional PC or laptop and also on a smartphone or tablet. So if this sounds of interest to you, stick around. In basic terms, a progressive web application is a web page or website bundled into an app. It's built using popular web technologies such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript, and as such requires a web browser to be installed in order to function. PWAs are intended to work on any platform, but as with most areas of technology, some systems support them better than others. A PWA is also able to provide additional features such as push notifications. So now that we know what they are, let's look at how to set them up. OK, on a desktop PC or laptop, let's start by opening the Chrome web browser and we'll visit YouTube's website. The reason for choosing YouTube is that it supports progressive web apps. From the home page, let's head to the drop down menu at the top right of the Chrome web browser and select Install YouTube. And when the Install app box pops up, click on Install. And here we have our very first PWA. Now if we close both of the open windows, you should also find that you've got a shortcut on the desktop. If for some reason yours is missing, you should also be able to search for it in the Windows search box. So if I type YouTube, you can see that we now have a YouTube app. And by right clicking on that, we can open the file location. So if for some reason you were missing the desktop shortcut, you could copy and paste this onto your desktop. OK, let's close the file manager and then open our new YouTube app. You can see that we've got a little icon in the taskbar, so if you wanted to you could right click on that and pin it. But let's have a look at the progressive web app itself. So the first thing to be aware of is that this is dedicated to the website in question, in this case YouTube. So unlike a full-blown web browser, there is no address bar and we can't use it to browse other websites. But we still have all of YouTube's features available to us, with a nice big search bar at the top. You can access YouTube's menus and settings, sign in to your YouTube account, and then subscribe to your favourite channels. You can scroll down the page to access even more content and you still have the familiar minimize, maximize and close options at the top of the window. And you also have this other drop down menu, which amongst other things will allow you to open the page you're browsing in the full version of Chrome, or uninstall the app altogether. So although that was a pretty whistle stop tour, I hope you can see what you're getting with a progressive web app. Similar to most apps on mobile devices, it basically carries out a single purpose, in this case accessing YouTube. If we close the PWA and reopen the Chrome web browser, we can view all of Chrome's apps by typing the following into the address bar. Chrome colon double forward slash apps. Then hit enter on your keyboard. It looks as though there's a couple already installed by default, including Chrome's web store. You just click on one if you want to launch it. Or alternatively, let's say I no longer wanted the YouTube PWA, if I right click on it, I can remove from Chrome. And if we click the little box, it will also clear out any associated data. Then heading back to the desktop, that should have also removed the shortcut. When you're visiting a website to look for its PWA, for example, let's head to bmw.com. As we saw previously with YouTube, we can head to Chrome's drop down menu and look for the install option. But you should usually find a little icon in the address bar as well. Clicking on this little icon will bring up the same install app box, and from there we could install the website's progressive web app. If we reopen the Chrome web browser, let's take a look at a potential issue that may have already crossed your mind when it comes to progressive web apps. I'm going to head to the DistroWatch website, which if you're not familiar is a great place for checking out information on Linux distros. If we now head to Chrome's drop down menu, Notice that there isn't an install option for this website. This is because not all websites support PWAs, indeed many of them don't. 
What then do we do about this predicament? Well fret not my fellow tech enthusiasts, there is a solution. We'll start by reopening Google Chrome and we're going to search for Vivaldi. We're not after the 17th century Italian composer but rather the Vivaldi web browser. So let's download that by clicking on the link and saving it to our computer. Once it's finished downloading let's close Chrome and go and locate the downloaded file. We need to double click to start the installation then accept the terms of service and install. If you want to you could pin it to the taskbar but you should have a desktop shortcut as well. Now if we return to YouTube and agree to the terms we're going to access Vivaldi's options menu by right clicking on the YouTube tab and just as in Google Chrome we get this option to install YouTube which would install the progressive web app so let's quickly do that and now just as we did earlier in Chrome we've now got YouTube's web app running through Vivaldi when you close the Vivaldi web browser you'll get this message to confirm that you want to exit if you don't want to see this every time just check the little box before clicking OK again we could right click the icon in the taskbar to pin the YouTube app if we wanted to we also get a handy desktop shortcut if we wanted to relaunch it so far then so similar to what we did earlier in Google Chrome now let's see the massive difference if we start by reopening the Vivaldi web browser I'm going to head once more to the distro watch website remember this site doesn't support progressive web apps so if we right click on the distro watch tab to see the menu sure enough there is no install distro watch but unlike when using Google Chrome we can click on this create shortcut option you can give it any title you want I'm just going to stick with the default and here's the important part before clicking on create we need to select this open as window option and now if I move this over and close the main Vivaldi window we have our very own distro watch app as we can see from both the icon on the taskbar and the shortcut on the desktop so with this method even if a website doesn't support progressive web apps we can create our own using Vivaldi and we can even search for them in the Windows search box obviously we can click on it to launch the app or if we right click we can choose open file location and just as we saw in Google Chrome this will show us where the Vivaldi app shortcuts are stored now if we want to remove one of the web apps we can either launch it and from the three vertical dots drop down menu at the top choose uninstall and then remove from there which as you can see has also removed the desktop shortcut or alternatively if we open the Vivaldi web browser and enter Vivaldi colon double forward slash apps into the address bar we can find our installed app, right click on it and then choose remove from Vivaldi which does exactly the same thing and that's how we can add our very own progressive web apps on a desktop PC or laptop before you go to the trouble of creating your own PWAs it may be first worthwhile double checking that one doesn't already exist to do this it's worth checking the website findpwa.com for as it tells us this is a directory of progressive web apps so you could have a browse around perhaps selecting a popular category or if you're after something in particular just click on the search option let's say that we know a particular website has a progressive web app in this case we'll take a look at Starbucks if we visit the site's home page you'll notice that there's no sign of a progressive web app being available either in Chrome's drop down menu or in the address bar so let's head back to our search and this time we'll carry out a search for Starbucks and then select the result then all we need to do is click on the launch button and straight away you can see that we've got an install app option in the address bar and we've also got install Starbucks on the drop down menu as well 
So just because a PWA doesn't seem to be readily available, it can still be worthwhile double checking to find out if one exists. Now let's look at progressive web apps on a mobile device. In this case I'm on an Android tablet, but it could equally be a smartphone instead. We could start by heading to the Play Store and installing the Vivaldi web browser, but unfortunately this wouldn't gain us any advantage when it comes to PWAs. Vivaldi's mobile browser currently only works with progressive web apps that a website itself provides, and unlike its desktop counterpart, won't allow us to create our own. So in this regard it's no different to Google's browser, which is why I'm going to be using Chrome. So let's go to a different website this time. Remember it needs to be one that natively supports PWAs. I'm going to go with Twitter. Then if we head to the drop down menu at the top right and look down the list, you should see an install app option. So let's select that. And then we can install it. You should get a pop up message when it's finished installing and find the newly created shortcut on your home screen. And if we open that, we now have a Twitter PWA. Obviously you'd need to sign into your Twitter account to make full use of it. OK, let's come out of there. If you don't have a shortcut on your home screen, you should be able to find the app inside your app drawer. A useful function of Twitter's PWA is if you hold down on it, you also get these handy shortcuts. If you no longer want a progressive web app, you uninstall it just the same as any other app on your Android device. So head into settings and then into your apps section. So you may be thinking, hang on a minute, isn't that just the Android app? But if we head back to the Google Play Store and search for Twitter, you can see that the Android app isn't actually installed. So let's uninstall the web app as well. And to do so we just select it and then uninstall. And that's it, we can see that the shortcut has gone as well. Some PWAs are even finding their way into Google's Play Store. For example there's Zoom for Chrome and Google Maps Go to name just a couple. Now you may still be wondering what's the point of a PWA on a tablet or smartphone? After all, there's certainly no shortage of standard apps available, and seemingly only a very small proportion of websites support them in the first place, although apparently this number is growing all the time. Well, let's quickly consider a couple of advantages. Firstly, a PWA takes up far less storage space than a standard app, so if your smartphone or tablet doesn't have much in the first place, this could be worth considering. And secondly, a PWA is much lighter on resources than a traditional app. So again, something worth thinking about, particularly if your hardware is getting a bit long in the tooth. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully, if you weren't already aware of them, you can now see how a progressive web app could prove useful. If for no other reason than to focus your attention on a particular website and limit the many distractions that the internet has to offer. Some PWAs even provide partial functionality when there is no internet connection available, which could be another added benefit. So go take advantage of the PWA. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when I post the next one, just click the bell icon. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take care.